What is going on YouTube? This is Gavin here and today Today is the day Tomorrow's the day as well. This whole weekend is going to be absolutely glorious because over the next two days I'm allowed a refeed It's pretty early right now you guys. It's about seven o'clock in the morning um, Woke up at about six fell asleep a little bit before 11 last night So managed a little bit more than seven hours of sleep Sleep was great. Don't know why I woke up so early because I don't work today. Set an alarm for 7.30 and 8. I obviously woke up before that, but it's going to be awesome. We just did a full day of eating, but I get a refeed today and tomorrow. So I figured I'd take you guys through the first day of my refeed as well as a shoulder and arm workout tonight. So it's going to be absolutely awesome. I'm going to show you think, guys, everything I'm eating for the day. It's not going to start eating right now just because it's kind of early. So I'm going to kind of chill out, do some stuff on my uh, computer, my phone get ready for the day, go do cardio, and uh, probably get in with the first meal of the day. I don't know if I'll do the first meal of the day before or after cardio, it just depends on how I'm feeling, but I'm excited and let's get right to the video. I woke up this morning at 162, lowest weigh in of prep was like 161. My body's been hovering over the past couple days between 161, 161 point like four and like 162. Just kind of depends, I feel like, how much water I drink before I go to bed and all that stuff. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So sit back, relax, let's get right to it. And let's hit the freaking intro. <laughs> hey guys, before you guys, before we get into the video, I'm going to overlay my check-in photos from this morning over the screen right about now. Uh, and the calories and the macros that we are hitting today. Our goal is our protein is at 219 grams. Carbs are at 523. Fat is at 76, which totals out at 3,533 calories. So we have a lot of food to eat. And I was also just given the note from my coach that we don't have to do cardio today or do cardio tomorrow. So the plan is to fill up over the next two days, no cardio, we're gonna go, we're gonna hit shoulders and arms tonight and tomorrow is a leg day. Oh my God, leg day with all these carbs in me, that's gonna be freaking awesome. But uh, from here, there will be a calorie drop on Monday. So we're gonna push the food up this, this weekend, fill out a little bit and then we're gonna slam the hammer back down to more conditions starting on Monday. So I'll definitely, Monday's probably going to be the hard day because after eating all this food and then slamming myself back down on Monday, it's going to be kind of difficult. So, uh, oh man, let's, let's go eat some food. Let's go get into meal number one of the day. And it's not really a whole lot of anything special, but we get a lot more carbs. <laughs> that first sip of the day. You know the enjoyment like girls get when like they go to Starbucks and that first sip of the day? That's what I feel when I drink this shit. All right, you guys. So the plan right now is we are currently driving to the stores. We're gonna head to Mark's and then we are going to head to BJ's Wholesale Club. The reason we're heading to Mark's is because we could probably get what we wanted at, uh, we could probably get what we wanted at, um, BJ's everything that we need but I don't know I just kind of wanted to split the day up a little bit kind of kill some time uh before we get the first meal and so we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna head to BJ's for the muffins that I want and the only unfortunate thing is is are my favorite muffins ever sugar chocolate chips oh all the goodness but they only come in a pack of six so unfortunately we're gonna, we're gonna have to give away four because we get one pre-workout with our pre-workout meal today and tomorrow. So I'll update you guys when we get that and when we get back and we get the first meal in. The muffins have been secured, ladies and gentlemen. The chocolate chip, the sugar, oh my God, the carbs. All right, guys, so we have the first meal of the day going down. Right here, we have 200 grams of egg whites, one whole egg. The egg broke, unfortunately. It's really good when you can dip the egg whites in the egg yolk. Some spinach and then some sriracha on there with some pink salt. And then right here, 
oh, this is 20 grams extra oats of what I usually have. So this is 80 grams of oats, 80 grams of blueberries. Uh, and some people are quite skeptical to do this, but two grinds of pink Himalayan salt makes it sweet and salty, especially because we put some sugar-free syrup on there and some cinnamon. So it's really good. Calories, macros, and everything for these two will be uh, on the screen somewhere probably right now. And then these in oats, if you don't use protein oats, I do uh, sometimes on the nighttime, but I don't use a scoop of protein in my oats in the morning. So this right here or any stevia sweetener, really good. And then we have our fiber and our GI going down and then finishing our first liter and a half bottle of water of the day. Drink four of these because water intakes at about six liters. And I'm excited for the day, guys. Just got the muffins and everything and the first meal of the day is going down. And I'm just going to enjoy it. All right, you guys, so we have meal number two of the day going down. This is gonna be delicious. Right here, we have two pumpkin spice bagels. One of them with 30 grams of this right here, this Biscoff cookie butter. If you can get something like this to fit in your macros, like I said, you can play around and have some fun. Obviously, it's not something that we do every day, but every now and again, it's fun to do. And then on the other bagel, we have uh, some sugar-free jam. And then this right here is like a protein mug cake. We have one scoop of the peanut butter protein, about 30 grams of blueberries on top, and one serving of PB2. This is a high calorie meal, high carb meal. My pre-workout meal is also high carb. And I didn't want to put them right next to each other. So we're going to have this, a smaller meal after, and then the pre-workout meal. And this right here, reason for this over almond butter day is because it's higher carb, lower fat. Uh, has a little bit of sugar, but it's something that we can't deal with. Like I said, it's fun to play around with your macros at times just to make the diet not so boring. You can't have fun with it. At the end of the day, it's calories in, calories out, and this meal is going to be delicious. So let's first try a bite of the jam, because we'll save the best for last, being the Biscoff one. Mmm! That... The dog won't be quiet. That is delicious. Now, for the main event, the Biscoff. Mmm! That is delicious. All right, you guys, calories, macros for this meal will be up on the screen right now. I'm gonna go enjoy this because this is pretty freaking good. And then I should see you guys for meal number three. Mm. All right, you guys, you guys already know what's going on. Uh, we are walking in the park right now. Just trying to hit the 10K for the day. Trying to get some more steps in. Uh, even though we don't have cardio, I still want to keep the expenditure high. Uh, it's a good habit to get into, especially even on the off-season as well, because it does help with digestion and stuff like that when your calories are a lot higher. But uh, we're two meals in, and I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling pretty good. We're going to go back. It's like 1.30 right now, so we're going to go back here shortly, get meal three, and then like two, two and a half hours later, get meal four, in, which will be the post-workout meal. And then after that, we have two pretty good meals as well uh the pre-workout meal i'm looking forward to get the muffin on top of the cream of rice and then uh we have two pretty great meals after the workout as well so uh like i said two meals in feeling pretty good feeling pretty energized just kind of been relaxing all day um but yeah i'll pick this up when i see you guys for meal three all right, you guys, so we got a uh, meal number three going down right now. This is just my basic regular meal number. This is typically my meal two of the day, but nothing's changed about this meal, regular meal. But when I finish it up, I'll show you guys what it is and break down the macros for you. All right, you guys, so this is a huge bowl of food. All right, so let me break down what it is, what the macros are. But like I said, this is usually what I have for meal two. 
on a training day. So nothing's changed about this meal, just regular meal. So it is 150 grams of chicken breast, 50 grams dry weight of jasmine rice. And uh, there's some pico on there, which adds a little bit of calories, which is like just tomatoes, a little bit of onion. And then there's a huge, a bunch of lettuce. Lettuce fills you up. I mean, I don't necessarily need it today, but it is a big volume this meal. So calories, macros will all be listed down below right about now for this meal. Uh, and then we have some of this on sugar-free sweet chili jihu sauce. This is five calories for 30 grams. So it's actually, you get a lot of sauce for 30 grams and for five calories, that is a steal that pack right there. So gonna get this meal down and then the next meal is the post-workout meal, which is going to be glorious and probably the most epic meal of the day. All right, you guys, so it is now time for the pre-workout meal. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. So right here, first we have 60 grams cream of rice with one scoop of peanut butter protein, 10 grams of almond butter, 80 grams of blueberries, some sugar-free syrup, and then uh, some cinnamon on there as well. So 60 grams cream of rice, a scoop of protein, 80 grams of blueberries, 10 grams of almond butter, some sugar-free syrup, and then cinnamon. And then right here we have the pre-workout muffins. So I don't know about you guys, but for my cream of rice, I like to fluff it up with a shit ton of water. Um, I think I used two cups for 60 grams. But anyways, you guys, calories, macros will all be on the screen right here, right now for you guys. But personally, back to the cream of rice, I like to cook it on the stove. And I personally like it a little bit thinner. I don't like it when it's super thick, cakey. I like it when it's a little bit has a little bit more volume to it, but we're gonna get into this. So I'm gonna try a bite of the muffin first, put it in the microwave so it's a little bit warm. Mm. That is delicious. Oh, you guys already know what I'm gonna do. Some of the muffin and the cream of rice. Get some blueberries, some almond butter. Right here. That, that you guys is delicious. But anyways, you guys already saw the calories, macros and everything, but we're gonna get this meal down. And I'll see you guys in the gym when we hit shoulders and a little bit of arms. I can't wait to see what kind of pump we get. It's gonna be awesome.
Workout meal greatness, ladies and gentlemen. This is French toast, pretty much the same as it is every day post workout, except today we get two extra pieces, so it totals out to eight pieces of anabolic French toast. So, to make the anabolic French toast, we use 200 grams of egg whites, uh, a cup of uh, unsweetened almond milk, a little bit of vanilla extract, and some cinnamon. And then on top, we have a hundred grams of blueberries, and then we have some of the Mrs. Buttersworth sugar free. Uh, syrup on top of it. So this is my favorite meal of the day, especially when I'm dieting. Even when I'm on, when, even when I'm bulking, this is my favorite meal of the day. Most complete meal. So much protein, so much carbs, minimal fat, and uh, calories, macros will all be up on the screen for you guys. But without any further ado, I'm going to dig into this because first bite is the best bite. Mm. This is so awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. I know I did. The pump was fantastic. And it's already 9 o'clock and we still have one more meal after this to go. That's going to be awesome. I'm going to be so full, but I feel great. I'm going to fall to sleep with a full belly of food. I'm not going to be starving. It's going to be awesome. But one more meal after this, I'm going to get this down, shower, chill for a bit, and then it will be time for the final meal of the day, meal number six. All right, you guys, so it is fairly late right now. There's people sleeping. It is about 11.30, and we have the final meal of the day going down, which is basically the same as it is every day on a training day, except that there's 20 grams more of oats. So essentially, it's 80 grams of oats. One scoop of this cake pop protein is pretty good if you guys haven't tried it. Um, 80 grams of blueberries, a little bit of baking powder so it rises slightly and then some cinnamon. So 80 grams of oats, a scoop of protein, some baking powder, cinnamon, 80 grams of blueberries. I'll show you guys it when it comes out and then break down the macros and everything. Like I said, it's fairly late. Uh, getting these meals down pretty late. Feeling pretty good, feeling very, very full. Got a response from my coach. I'll throw that up on the screen. <laughs> uh, the pictures I sent to him uh, about, of the post-workout, he was very, very happy with them. So, like I said, we're going to repeat this again tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to film it, but who knows? Could. It's possible. But tomorrow is a leg day. Successful shoulder and arm workout today. So, like I said, I'll throw that up on the screen. 
if I didn't already of my coach's response to the post work uh, post workout pictures. Um, and yeah, you guys, I really can't wait. Conditions really coming through, especially after filling up, and then we're gonna slam down starting on Monday, and then hell, maybe in a few weeks of dieting again, we'll get another refeed or two days. Like I said, this is a dual refeed two days in a row. So uh, like I said, when this comes out, break down the macros and everything, and then we'll get that meal down and then get off to bed. All right, you guys, so it's about 11.40, the final meal of this refeed going down meal number six. Like I just said, I'll run it down again. This is 80 grams of oats, 80 grams of blueberries, uh, a little bit of baking powder, one scoop of whey protein, which is about 30 grams. Uh, and then a little bit of cinnamon, uh, baking powder, make the cookie rise slightly, and then a little bit of sugar-free syrup, the Mrs. Butterworth, I think it's about 10 calories for 30 milliliters, which is about how much I use. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get this meal down. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm very, very tired. Uh, uh, very glad to hear that my coach is happy with the pictures that I sent him. We're gonna redo this again tomorrow. I uh, don't know if I'm going to film it. Depends. Uh, might switch things up a little bit. Uh, switch up the foods maybe a little bit. Make it more interesting. But calories, macros, and everything for this meal will be on the screen. Um, and then also the calories and macros for the entire day will also be on the screen as well. Uh, they might be a little bit different from the macros I told you this, uh, told you this morning after having scanned the muffin. thought the muffin was about like 100 calories less so or 150 calories less so um the muffin did change the macros a little bit for the day if everything is on point uh macros and everything will be on the screen right now and uh, we're gonna get this meal down and then we're gonna go to bed and then we're gonna get to the gym in the morning to train some legs i appreciate you guys watching please uh like this video favorite this video share this on every social media platform that's the way possible and do me one final thing and definitely subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next <laughs>